Hello YouTubers, my name is Attila Mate from Blue Sky Photography and today I would like to talk to you about how many megapixels do you need? Now I see this uh, argument all the time on the internet and everybody is coming with some scientific numbers and you need, uh, if you calculate like you multiply this to that or whatever. I don't want to do that. You, if you follow my channel, you probably you know until now that I'm a very practical guy and I like to say only things that I actually tried and I know that it's functioning, it's working 100%. So I don't want to say, like I said, anything scientific. So if you want to complain that this is not scientific enough, you can switch off this video and go to some other channel and look at the scientific video. What I want to show you, I will show you some prints that I did with different megapixel size and you can see what I'm talking about. So, first of all, I want to uh, make it clear over here that megapixel counts as well when you want to crop. So it's not only the print, because printing, you know, it's not a big deal. You can do it from 8 megapixel, 10 megapixel, 12 megapixel, no problem. It depends how big you want to print. But generally, for general use, you know, like this size of prints, you can print about 12 megapixel, no problem at all. Now, obviously, I print most of the time with 360 or 400 uh, uh, dots, so, uh, dots per inch DPI. And uh, that's good image quality. Even if you go close, you know, to the photo, it will be full of details. Now obviously it depends from where do you look at the photo because if you look at the photo from a distance then you need less DPI. You need like uh, 200 DPI or something. Most of the time they will print with 300, 320 DPI. You know that's okay. If you want more details in your photo then you can print 400 DPI. It depends completely up to you. Now as I said APS-C size sensors they are most of the time 24 megapixels now these days and some people are complaining that it's not enough. Now I will show you some prints, which one I did with my Pentax K5 many, many years ago. And those prints, though, that camera is 16 megapixel, and those prints were cropped as well. So it means that it's less than uh, 16 megapixel. I don't know exactly how much, but in my opinion, roughly, it is about 12 to 14 megapixel each of these prints. Now I will show you some prints which are pretty big, and you can see that the detail is unbelievably good. First print. Now, this is a pretty, pretty big print. If you look at this, now I don't really pet this print because uh, uh, I, I didn't put on the wall, you know, it's just sitting in the shelf. But I did this only for a test. So I want to show you that this is printed from 12 megapixel. And if I get closer, So you can see that this print is really good quality. It's a lot of detail in it. I mean, you can, you can uh, look at this, this close and you see the details in the wall. You see the details on the fence up there. You see the details in the boats. It is unbelievably good detail. Now this is printed with 300 DPI, 300 dots per inch. And uh, it is printed, like I said, about 12 to 14 megapixel. I'm not really sure about uh, the megapixel because I cropped in a little bit but not too much. Now the second print I want to show this is a smaller one but this is also printed from uh, uh, my Pentax K5 16 megapixel this is smaller but as I said look and you can look like that to the photo and definitely you see all the details in it. Now this is printed with the Pentax K, uh, sorry, uh, made with the Pentax K5, which is 16 megapixel, but it's heavily cropped. So I would say it's about 10 megapixel. This was about 10 megapixel, this photo. But I could print this photo that size very easily, and it would be no problem. So, in my opinion, if you want to print like this big or that big, and that every wedding photographer or portrait photographer will print like that you know very very rarely you find people who want to print a portrait like one meter by two meter rarely you see that but even then there are some different ways how you can uh, you can make 
even from a 24 megapixel camera, you, uh, APS CSAS camera, you can make a, that big of a print. It won't be the same quality like a full frame camera, 36 megapixel, let's say, but in the same time, you won't, you don't really notice the difference, you know, only if you are a photographer. The fourth print, and this is a fine art print, and uh, this is again made with my Pentax. And this is a, it's a matte paper, it's made on matte paper. Again, about 12 to 13 megapixels, something like that. Maybe less than 12. I'm not pretty sure because I cropped in, you know, and uh, this is a black and white photo, so I'm not pretty sure about the megapixel, I don't want to say, but this, this photo was pretty good cropped in. So it is about uh, 12 megapixel, I would say, 13 megapixel. And this, this is, uh, if I'm not wrong, I, I'm, I don't know exactly sure, but this is about 20, 24 by 18 inch, something like that. The bigger one, the bigger one, this one is 26 by, or even more, I'm not sure now, 26 by something like that. But I printed. 24 megapixel photo. I don't have that print over here because I gave to my client, obviously. But I printed from a 24 megapixel APS-C size camera. I printed about 28 inch by 23 inch, and it was great. It was absolutely spotless. It was no problem. So, in my opinion, this uh, how many megapixels do we need? It's a little bit overhyped, you know. Most of the cameras, 24 megapixel, are more than enough for any kind of photography, except if you are a wildlife photographer or sport, uh, not sport, sorry, um, a landscape photographer, and you want to print your photos billboard size you know, or something. No, then you need medium format or you need a 50 megapixel full frame or something like that. But most of the cases, and I say 99% of the cases, a wedding photographer, a portrait photographer, a sports photographer, a wildlife photographer, a street photographer, whatever you are, most of the cases, APS-C or, or full frame 24 megapixel is more than enough for these kind of prints. Now you can see over here what I did from 16 megapixel and 12 megapixel, and imagine then if I did this print, with 12 megapixel, then what you can do with 24? Honestly, guys, if I did this with 12 megapixel, what can I do with 24 then? I can print that much, no problem. And I can, no problem. So, I hope that this video was helpful to you guys. I hope that you liked it. Like I said, I don't want to, uh, to speak about scientific terms and calculations and you can find it anywhere. These are facts. I printed them. I know what I'm talking about. And, and this is more important, I'd say, because you can imagine, look, this big, 12 megapixel, it's grand, you know? It's much more better than some scientific, in my opinion. But anyway, if you want scientific things, you know, you can search and you will find definitely. So if you want to add something to my video, feel free and leave a comment down below. I'm only a human being, I can make mistakes as well, you know, I'm not a perfect person. If you want to ask something or if you have a question, feel free and leave a comment down below. And uh, if you like my videos, please like and subscribe and share my videos. And if you want to support this channel, share my videos, tell to the others about my channel. And uh, you can hit that little bell button near the subscribe button to get notified when I upload another video. And other than that, I wish you a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Take care guys. Thank you.